Hello whiskey fans, lovely to see you all again. December the 3rd, it's time for another dram. On the third day of Christmas, my whiskey advent calendar gave to me. I have no idea because we're doing this blind. And as always, I've got to try not to look at that because it's the hardest thing in the world to open a bottle and not pour it everywhere. It's the hardest thing in the world to actually get the dram out of this calendar, apparently, without looking at what it is. How does the song actually go? Third day of Christmas. Not that this is the third day of Christmas. Three French hens, right? I am actually curious to see if, they're, if this is all scotch, because I haven't looked. And I kind of hope that there is going to be some world whiskey in here, because it doesn't say scotch. Although, if I'm honest, I'm hoping not too much, because I do like my scotch. But hopefully this isn't going to be a French hen, because I don't particularly want to drink Bren QV again. Also, I'm really hoping for a high ABV. I really want a craft presentation today. I want everything to be a craft presentation from this point on. So we started off with a 43%, which was a good whiskey. Yesterday we had the bare minimum 40% with the Johnny Walker Blue Label. I am kicking myself a bit that I didn't guess that one because all the signs, all the clues were there. I could tell that it wasn't single malt. There was that little bit of smoke. Obviously it's going to be an expensive whiskey because it's in here. And the fact that it's bottled at that low strength really should have thought Johnny Walker Blue Label. I think my tasting notes were reasonably good. But I really do think that if I'd have tried a little bit harder, I could have guessed that one. Anyway, today's dram, dram number three, pointing the label away from me. Crack the seal. Hmm. So that's a little bit unusual again. Reasonably bold. Hmm. Seems like it could be a good one. Let's get some in the glass. Get the lid on there and get that out of sight before I accidentally see it. Slangeva. Mm, so immediately the first thing that springs to mind with this one is that it's quite spirity but in a good way lots of really bold spirity i like whiskies that are sharp and focused and this one definitely is there's a little bit of smokiness in there as well and the first thing that comes to mind is maybe a 15 to 18 year old kalila or maybe one of the porter skeg whiskies Mm, definitely quite a bit of peat on that one. How good would it be if I guessed Kalila? Kalila 18 year old without even tasting it. It's probably not going to happen though. <laughs> not that lucky. But really beautiful nose on this one. I actually think... It's not coming through overly strong. It's a, a decent nose, lots of aroma in there. But I'm gonna guess this this could actually be a Kalila because I wouldn't be surprised if this is 43. It's definitely not 40%. I'd say it smells between 43 and 46. Quite a, a slightly dry, slightly coalish, smoky peatiness. Lots of sharp fruitiness, lemon, sweet, sweet green apples, quite tropical, quite malty as well. It's definitely not a young whiskey. If it is a Kalila, it's not the 12, well, it wouldn't be the 12 year old in this advent calendar. But I would definitely guess between 16 and 18 years old. I don't think it would be the Kalila 25. Although I might change my opinion on that when I taste it. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Hmm. 
really quite a strong peatiness on the palate of that one. It's not a huge peat bomb, but there's lots of peat there, and it's a lovely, fresh, sooty peatiness that's backed up by more of that really lovely, juicy, sweet and sharp spirit on the on the palate. I'm just going to try a little bit more because I want to concentrate on the ABV because I think that's going to be a big clue with this one. I think that peatiness, I think we could be in Isla territory, although I am still leaning towards Kalila. And if it is a Kalila, it's older than the 12 year old and it's younger than the 25 year old. So if it's a standard expression, it's the 18. Although, as we all know, Kalila is they have a massive output and they sell a lot of whiskey to the independent bottlers. So possibly one of the Porter Skaggs or possibly probably one of 50 other mystery malts that are secretly Kalila. There's a lot of whiskies this could be that could really trip me up. Let's have a little bit more and I'm going to see if I can nail down that ABV a bit more closely. Yeah. Beautifully intense whiskey, really good single malt. And it's got a really good intensity, but I don't think that intensity is coming from a craft presentation. I do think that this is probably a 43% whiskey. But I think how well made it is, and how intense the spirit is, and also how old it is, because I'm going to guess this is probably another 18 year old whiskey, like the Glenrothes that we had on day one, although this is a lot better than the Glenrothes in my opinion. Now, my first thought, as soon as I noticed this in the glass, I really couldn't really be sure of much at all nosing it from the bottle, but as soon as it is in the glass, I did think Kalila. Now, if it is Kalila, what sort of notes am I looking for to confirm that? On a lot of the old Kalilas, a lot of people do get bananary, sort of banana liqueur notes. And I think that's probably something that a lot of people get more with the 25. But probably if we can smell or taste that, that might give us a clue. Other than that, obviously Kalila is a very sharp and spirit driven single malt with an obvious, slightly dirty, ashy, coaly, smoky sort of dry, smoky PT profile. So let's see what we've got. Obvious strong PTiness. Very sharp. Tropical fruit juice with a good bitterness to that sharp spiritiness, but not overly so, not heavy on the grapefruit. I think because it's balanced out with so much sweetness, Lots of maltiness as well. Fantastic whiskey. Could be stronger, because I don't think this is a craft presentation, but a fantastic whiskey. Let's have another sip. I think the reason why I think this is an 18 year old whiskey is because it's not gone over that threshold where it starts to get overly extractive. It's not picking up a huge amount of tannic bitterness from the wood but the maltiness is really intense getting some lovely slightly tannic oily cereal notes from the malt and I think that you never get that sort of flavor profile from anything which is less than probably 15 16 years old so I think it's definitely an 18 year old but what I love about this whiskey is that it's preserved alongside the, those well matured, well aged notes. You've still got quite a lot of peatiness and quite a lot of spiritiness. And those are two things that I love in whiskey. And it's all too rare that you get those notes, those flavours continue through a whiskey into its high teens. But in this one, I think you've got it. So definitely time to do the reveal on this one. Right from the start, my gut instinct is telling me Kalila on this one. I think it's the 43% Kalila 18. Let's have a look. Let's try not to knock it over. <laughs> now, I wasn't sure if I was going to get any that I was going to guess exactly right. But I have done exactly that. Kalila 18 year old, 
43%. So this is a whiskey that I'm pretty familiar with, and it's it's not too badly priced. I haven't bought a bottle lately, so the price may have shot up. But I think you used to be able to get this for about £75-80, pounds. and it's a really good whiskey that I've bought several times, and it's one that I really like. So as far as I'm concerned, this one is a big hit in the, the whiskey advent calendar. It's not that craft presentation that I've been chasing. Day three and still not a craft presentation, but fantastic whiskey. Anyone that's tasting along at home, I look forward to getting your thoughts on this whiskey, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Cheers.